Conservation experts have called for the collaboration of researchers, hunters and traditional medicine practitioners to save pangolins from extinction. The experts made the call in commemoration of the 2023 World Pangolin Day. Observed every third Saturday of February, the World Pangolin Day is set aside to celebrate pangolins, raise awareness about their importance and fight against global pangolin capture. Sikiru Adesaga is the head, a bare area command of the Hunters Council of Nigeria. When we go for group hunting, if we see pangolin, we kill it and eat it, he says. But with awareness being created on the need to protect endangered species such as pangolins in accordance with the laws, Sikiru says the habit must stop. People hunt it, but if we went to the group hunting, if they see it, they will kill it and we eat it. But now, nobody should do it. It's a law throughout the Nigeria according to what we learn. So we persuade our people they should not kill. And before, because of that one, the government is doing their best to satisfy the hunters so that they will not kill. If the hunters don't kill the pangolin, marketers will not get anything to sell. Pangolin, when come back to the pay, different, different kind of fish. We are going to be what to your pay, tobacco produce, and our drugs in me, lie, everyone on the ship. What are two sons of pay, one come here, and me what they put over us left our mental man, what you do. Push whatever about what left our mental man, what you do. What shall I find the big part of my team? We go to the bank with job. I be for the whole world. Finally, take it back. We talk about who could do better. We come back. Finally, we are feeling blue. Yeah, that I join me. Come, come, come. To shoot a friend, we are more. That is why I join. Come to my people. We are more Nigeria. So I know that you understand. We are going to call it. So perfect. For come on. For Sikiru and other hunters like him, it is worrisome that many animals they used to know as children hunting with their father have gone extinct. In the ancient time, I used to follow my father for hunting. And that time, there is a lot of animal decay. In the morning when we wake up, we see a lot of animal which they brought through night hunting. But now, there is no animal now. That time, we see chimpanzee. We see some uh, buffalo which they will cut in pieces before they bring them home. The red deers and so many other ones. But now, they are not available. They are not available. Only the common one we can see now is monkeys and uh, some red deers, grass cutter. And before you get them, maybe a lot of work will be done with the dogs that we push them out. You can rear so many bush, we will not see anything coming out again. Because we people time with because of the wood cutter, all this uh, bush uh, burning and many many other things. You don't see a lot again like before. And initially when we start hunting, we we see different of animal like bush wallow. It's very common in our area. That time, even this uh, giant uh, pangolin, we used to see them, but now they are not in our area anymore. Mostly that giant pangolin we have not seen any, it anymore. A pangolin is one of the animals on the International Union of Conservation of Nature, IUCN, red list of threatened species. Despite their benefits as ant eaters that assist in protecting the forest from being destroyed by ants, pangolins are the world's most illegally traded and trafficked mammals, resulting into an alarming decrease in population for all the species. So if we can preserve this animal pangolin, oh, have this one to sustain yourself. And many people have benefit, many hunters benefit. So we, we still pray, plead to them to still continue to help the hunters because we are many. So in the, some rural area, they don't hear news, they don't have television. They don't have not even hear about killing of this pangolin or stopping killing of this pangolin. So we want to take it to the area. So we want, we need the help from you people and the government. But we still need more help so that we can go to deep uh, community to tell them the useful, usefulness because a lot of mess in the city, they've been recovered from the pangolin. And we have two places in Africa. They say Nigeria is one, another country from Africa. So we want to protect our own. That is the slang, say, uh, save pangolin, save life. Threats to pangolins include habitat loss, 
high levels of poaching for illicit trade in their meat, skin, and skills, as well as hunting them for trado medicine purposes. Unless the trend is halted and populations allowed to recover, the future of pangolins remains bleak. The theme for 2023 World Pangolins Day is celebrating the wilderness of pangolins.